sunset of a hard day off the Outer Banks, off Cape Hatteras. We've had 25 knots of wind most of the day. It's down around 20 now. Everything inside the cabin is wet, including me. Fortunately, the water's warm. Breakfast was a protein bar. Dinner was a protein bar. I just couldn't do anything more today. Hatteras is off to the right about 30 miles. There's an odd vortex, I assume, of the Gulf Stream, which goes offshore at Hatteras, which is m moving us closer to the land. We're still 20, 30 miles off of the Outer Banks. But our COG is very different from where the bow is pointing, uh, like 50, 60 degrees. We only have a scrap of canvas up, a reef main, a little bit of jib. We, I don't want to be healed any more than this. I haven't slept well for two nights, uh, less than four hours each of the last two nights. I don't know that I'll get that much more tonight. But uh, when Canada is healed more than this, life aboard is very difficult, and it was difficult today in any case. I didn't uh, write anything in the passage log in the laptop uh, because I didn't dare take it from its waterproof case today inside the cabin. I made a note of our noon position and daily run and that sort of thing in uh, handwriting in a notebook and I'll put it in there later. We're less than a hundred miles from the mouth of the Chesapeake. Uh, these conditions are supposed to ease tonight. I have cheated. I, when I go to sea, I only, I don't get weather information. I have no way to get in from weather information. And so I look at the barometer, I look at the sea, and I look at the sky. But this is not an ocean passage, this is coastal, so I turned on my handheld VHF today to see if I could get NOAA weather radio, and I could. So our 20 knots, they, they forecast 15 to 20. We had, according to the readings of the instruments, 20 to 25. Should ease tonight. I hope so. <laughs> 